Hello, planner friends. It's Amber from Amber Plans Her Day, and I am coming on to unbox and share my first impressions of my plum paper. This is the planner that I customized with all of you guys, um, like maybe a week and a half ago. It, I think it literally only took like, geez, I want to say like one week exactly to get to me. Maybe a week and a half, but I think it was only a week. Okay. So it comes in this really pretty box. Not really. I mean, it's just a box, but, um, so we have this and then we have this. I didn't buy anything else, just the planner and it does not come with discs like, um, somebody had mentioned. Um, something that I will be reviewing for all of you guys though, is how they work with the happy planner discs, because I've heard a few different, um, People have been messaging me and telling me that Happy Planner discs do not work very well with plum paper. So we may have to figure out something else to do or I may have to go to the store and buy something else. Um, oh, oh, okay. So already like this is different for me. So this is like a clear cover, um, which is just I mean it's nice quality um I feel like their punch is a little bit shorter and a little bit fatter which is um kind of like my daily sheets punch if you guys have that um and oh the inside cover is really cute too it's just like these like little stripe lines okay so I don't know I guess we just we just go for it okay let's just see then we have the weekly planner this planner belongs to let's go ahead and just put my name in there right like that's like why we have custom name stickers right so that I don't have to actually write my name in there let's see here we go here they are Amber okay let's see what size will fit best though um, ooh, maybe like this one, like this kind of smaller sized one. Oh, oh, I was gonna say I could put it like up here though. I could put like a bigger one up there, but then it says like this planner belongs to you. Oh, I might have to think about this because I like the small size here, but at the same time, I want it big. Like if it's like a bigger planner, I kind of want it big. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I have to think about it. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's make sure that we can see everything. So here's our 2022 um, year to glance, 2023. I feel like we should put this on the discs first. I think I'm going to put these on the discs first because this one's like already got bent up. Okay, let's just... So what, we start with like the covers, right? Just like a happy planner? I grabbed black discs and now I don't really know if the black discs are going to be look very good with this. Um, but I think I'm just going to go for it at least right now. Okay, let's keep just going and see what happens, I guess. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so here is this so we have the cover here i feel like this moves really nicely i don't know maybe when it's full it doesn't okay so first things first we need to do these pages here and then we'll walk through everything i feel like okay okay so the first pages of the actual planner, you have the name page. And like I said, I have to think about where I want to put my name or how big or how little. Um, 2022, and then you have 2023. And then we have like special dates for the whole year. And then you have ideas, plans, goals. So kind of just like a blank page there. Then we have notes and then we have April. So, um, I guess we need to get the April divider. Let's see here. Okay, so the divider is really just like a plain. I, f I feel like it's not as big or it's like not as um, thick as the Happy Planner. But you do have here 
you have like goal number one, number two, number three, birthdays, events, things to remember. And what's on the, like the back page of this one? Oh, part of the monthly. Okay. Here's the other part of the monthly. Then we have a weekly already. Okay. So we have this week ideas and then this is how I customized it. So I did this week ideas and I did priority, YouTube, Instagram, Patreon, APHD for Amber Plants Today, and then to do. Then we have, okay, let's see here. Then we have all of the things here. So it is like supposed to be an April start. So like these are kind of like grayed out, which I don't love. The paper quality feels like really soft, which someone was telling me it's really buttery. It doesn't, I don't know. Like I might have to get a happy planner out in just a minute and see if it feels thicker. But I did the neutral. It is kind of like a bluish grayish color. It is fairly neutral though. So I'm content with that. Um, then we have like enough for the whole. Okay, so we have enough for the whole month, but then Sunday the 1st is blocked out. So I'm kind of curious, like, okay, see, this is weird to me. I don't like this. I'm, I'll, I'll just be honest with you guys. I don't like this. Let me, let me go ahead and put, okay, so Sunday the 1st is blocked out here, but then let's do May Divider. I don't think I like the quality of these dividers either. I like they're really thin compared to the Happy Planner. Um, it's like not even like a divider. It just feels like regular paper. Okay, so then we have, let's keep going here. So then we have like our um, divider and then we have our notes. Then we have our monthly, but then this is something I don't like. So it repeats the last week of April, but then like all like that, like blocked out kind of color. And then the first of May. It is just on the Sunday. So you, you get two of the same exact week. Um, but on one, like the Sunday is kind of grayed out. And then the other one, this whole week is grayed out. Like for me, I like the way the, ha the happy planner does it where like the May's weeks would start on Monday, the second, because that's the majority of May days. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I don't, I don't care for that. I don't think I knew that that was how this worked. Um, but that is like an instant review already that I just, I don't care for that. Okay. Now, um, I think I'll probably just finish this building the planner and then I'll be back to kind of walk you through it and share with you guys everything about it. All right, we are done. We made the planner. I think that it looks pretty good. Um, so it has, I think it looks okay with the black too. Let's see if we can. I think that the Am Planter Day looks good. On the black, it looks pretty good. So we have like this like cover and then we have the Am Planter Day. Then we have the weekly planner. Just gotta decide how I'm gonna do that. Then, like I said, we have all of these. I do like the, just kind of like the notes here. So then we have the divider. I don't like the quality of the divider. It feels pretty thin to me. But what I do like is having the month separate. Um, so I can take notes here. And then we have like my monthly highlights, goal number one, two, three, birthdays, events, things to remember. I don't mind the monthly view. It is backwards from the happy planner which is something like I'm not really used to we usually have um, Monday Tuesday Wednesday and then Thursday through Saturday on this side um, with the column on the other side which I don't really use my monthly view anyway so to me it's not the biggest deal um, and then you do have like a little small next month there so we have the current like month here. Then we have this week ideas, priority YouTube, Instagram, Patreon, Amber Plans Today, and then to do. What I love though is that it's listed on both, so I can see on both um, really quickly what that column is for. And then it is dated up at the top. I like. I just can't believe that I chose what it says. Then the last page of the month has another April, and then the notes, and then the May then the May notes and then just continue on through all the months. 
something that I did I feel like this is moving really nicely on these discs I don't know I, just, I feel like it's someone told me that it doesn't really fit but to me it like it's actually really smooth these are metal discs so I guess I should say that I don't know maybe they're using plastic discs but I think they're really soft um, and really smooth now so I purchased like as a little extra this like note section here I mean it was like three dollars I don't know something like that and I was like whatever I have a coupon um, I love notes so let me just do it so it came with like a whole bunch of note paper and then the last couple pages here my guess is that it comes with every planner I'm not sure because that's the end of the note paper then we have dot grid we have a couple pages of the dot grid here then we have my contacts. So you have just like a front and back of contact pages. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 12, 24. Then we have passwords. Website, you, website username, password, which is nice if you guys keep track of those things. And then you do have 2024 calendar as well. And then it did come with this folder also, which would be nice. Um, I do have like this happy planner paper. So I just want to kind of compare it because I know that it's not actually the size of a happy planner. So like, for example, if you were to add a happy planner page into this planner, this is the happy planner page right here. Like it has quite um, a difference in length. So you can even see like the tip of it just at the back here. See that? Do do. That light is in the way. There we go. That tall paper is the Happy Planner paper. I do want to compare though paper quality because that's something like, yeah, this paper is a lot bigger. Let's see. I'm going to just take out a random note page because, like I said, I bought it. I have tons of note pages here. Um, now, let's see. Let's see the differences here. So, when we have them, Come on, you need to go down. Thank you. It's like they get stuck on each other's desks. And that always frustrates me. <laughs> okay, so it is the same width, but there is a good, I'd say pinky. For me, a good pinky sized finger taller with the Happy Planner paper. Now the colors to me look different um this i can't tell like they both look white in their own way i don't know how to explain the difference there you definitely someone told me the paper quality to me the happy planner feels a little bit thicker but something that someone was saying is like the what i think what's called teeth on the paper like this is so smooth um i'll be really interested we'll do some pen tests on it whereas this i feel like it just grips the pen a little bit better um so like i have a feeling when i'm writing specifically like that smeared so bad like, I am going to have to be very careful, especially as a lefty. Um, I mean, I, like, purposefully smeared it, but, like, we'll give it a few seconds. So, like, that's me not purposefully smearing it. Now let me purposefully smear it on the Happy Planner and then give it a few seconds. Okay, so, honestly, though, they, it's smeared on both. This is the Paper Mate Flare, so it could just be that, too. Let's do the Muji, another one that I write with often. Okay, that one didn't really smear at all. And then let's try it over here too. It did smear for me over here actually. So let's just write this one again. Now let's try, let's try some lettering pens, yeah? I almost always write hello. <laughs> Every time I'm like, let's just do a pen test here. I always write hello. Does anyone else always write hello? It's my go-to word. That is really nice. I have a feeling this is gonna schmear. I mean, it just like feels schmeary to me. Okay, I literally just wrote it. Doop. Yeah, I mean, you have to give it a few seconds to dry. The O schmeared a little bit when I like went over it. Let's see, this is my uh, Pentel uh, sign 
my Pentel brush pen. So this one's like purple. That was not a good H. That's okay. That one, like, yeah, that one's pretty bad. But I don't know how it does it over here on the Happy Planner. I don't remember. So I don't use these ones in my planner very often. I've just been getting, yeah, see, so yeah, it smears in the Happy Planner too. Just been getting back into colored pens in my planner. Now let's try those mild liners. I just feel like, I mean, they look pretty similar, like, color-wise. I feel like this one maybe looks a little bit brighter. Now, let's just see, though. Like, this Muji was written on there for a while. I feel like, comparatively, um, I mean, it, it dried, so it was okay on both of them. I mean, it didn't, yeah. I mean, it might have smeared on the plum paper. I guess I should write plum paper up here, huh? Let me just write that. <laughs> Plum HP. Okay. Let's see. I guess we should, we could see over the over the uh I just feel like it always smears the paper my flare. That's why I like try not to use. I try not to use them with the paper mate flare unless I write um, first or like unless I highlight first, which I do sometimes. I highlight first sometimes. We can try the brush pen from, oh, sorry you guys, I can try the brush pen from um, Zebra as well. Oh wow, that was not good lettering there. The sizing kept getting bigger and bigger. That one's better. That's not too bad. I mean, I yeah, I think that overall, like, this paper, like someone was saying, it is a lot smoother. So it just doesn't have, like, the teeth, I think, to, like, grab what it needs to. I do want to try these Archer and Olive. I just love these Archer and Olive uh, Calliographs. Calliographs. Um, so I'm going to write... Calio. I'm just going to write that. Calio. These ones have been my favorite in my planner. So, like that, these ones are really important for me. With, with the drying, though, they are really nice. I don't see any schmear at all. So that's really nice. Let's see, though. I mean, like, I don't know why you would do this specifically, but, like, that. this one dried the best out of all of them, hands down. So I want to see um, how it does with a highlight over it. Like, I don't know why you would highlight over, like, a colored pen like that, but maybe you would. So, yeah, I mean, honestly... It's a pretty good over there. I think it did even better on the Happy Planner paper, though. I think something to do with that teeth, you guys. I think the teeth in the planner paper. Um, honestly, though, like, it's not awful. It's something that I think you just get used to, maybe. And you kind of just adjust the way that you write. Um, kind of like letting it dry a little bit first before you move on. For me, like being a lefty, like I would not be able to write like a full on thing. I'd probably need to take a break between a few words so that like my left handedness doesn't smear it. But overall, I mean, I think the paper's pretty good. I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's my favorite paper. I think I like the Happy Planner paper better, which I know is probably a shocker because so many people said the quality of the paper went bad. Look at this. I forgot to look at the shadowing. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this one has more shadowing. I want to show you guys. Can you guys see that? Like right here and right here I see through, right here I see through. And then let's see the Happy Planner. The only one I see through with the Happy Planner is right here. And that was... This is a Pentel sign brush pen, and this was the Tombow Fendasuke. So that Pentel bled, or like, um, 
shadowed the worst. The calliographs, though, like, I can see it very little bit. But is it, like, because I'm in a light? When it's, like, just flat like that, I can't see it. But when this one's flat, I can see, I can see almost everything, which is probably really hard for you guys to see. But, like, I see Calio right here. I see, like, I even see, like, some of those, like, mild liner strokes there. I see that hello right there. I mean, that is, that's some pretty big shadowing there, if you ask me. Um, I can't see, though. Oh, yeah, I can. Plum right there. I said I can't see the plum on the top, but I can. Yeah, so this one definitely has a lot worse shadowing, but just something I think you just have to either adjust to or get used to if you guys really like this option of customizing your planner. Um, I was talking to, I was like on a um, Instagram live with um, a planner friend and she was telling me about another planner brand. I'm not to figure it out. That does customize planners, but it's only coiled. I do like that this is punched. The punch is different, but it, I mean, it still works. And for me, it works really nicely on the Happy Planner discs. So I don't know um, if that's just mine or, or what, but I had like two people tell me that it does not work with Happy Planner discs, but mine it does. So that I'm pretty content with. Um, I don't like how the months are laid out. Like, that's weird to me that, like, that's twice. You get double double the week. I don't know. But anyway, you guys, this is my first impressions of the Plum Paper Customized Planner, setting it up, and review of the paper. And Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Bye, babes.